Okay, so I'm going to share something super interesting with you guys. Uh, we have and teach about 230 different species of medicinal plants. And I try to teach about, you know, the traditional perspective that's thousands of years old. But I also uh, understand, try to do my best to understand the science that underpins those ideas. With every single plant, uh, it can have 100 to 250 different chemical constituents that are inside of it. And I take every single one of those chemicals and I identify the physiological effect, the function of each of those. And that gives me a really good idea as to what that plant is accomplishing, the potential synergy energies, the inner workings of that plant that are aimed at healing or restoring function to certain parts of your body. So over the years, I've developed a really uh, good understanding as to what these chemicals in plants do, the intentions behind the plants. And so what I wanted to share today is that it's more often that these plants are teaching us where the therapy is, uh, not that they are the medicine themselves, that they are the therapy. They're teachers of the therapy. One of my favorite examples is tamarack bark. Uh, tamarack bark has over 80 constituents all working synergistically to help protect your nerve cells from the toxic effects of sugar. And when they're protected from the toxic effects of sugar, that tissue is able to heal. When people soak their feet inside of tamarack with diabetic neuropathy, where you have no feeling in your feet, like Mr. Deeds style feet, um, in a half hour, you're going to be able to feel temperature change. In 90 minutes, you're going to be able to have pins and needles. And after two, between two and three hours, you're going to have sensation throughout your entire foot because that particular part of your body is being protected from the toxic effects of hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia, high blood sugar, is what is destroying every single part of our body. But listen, it's not that that medicine uh, protects your body from sugar. It protects that one part of your body from sugar at the expense of others because that sugar still has to go somewhere. So it goes into your mesangial cells and your kidneys and destroys those. It goes into your blood vessel endothelial cells and destroys those. And so your risk for kidney disease and cardiovascular disease are at risk, but your feet might be getting better. Okay, so we need to fully understand what these medicine plants are doing. And the most important thing is that we need to understand that they are teachers. They are showing us where the true therapy is. Tamarack is telling us, Mshigiwatigos, Lerix Lericia is telling us that the therapy is to prevent hyperglycemia. What is the most powerful and easiest ways to prevent hyperglycemia, to prevent your blood sugars from getting above seven, getting above nine, uh, to the point where they begin to damage nerve cells. You cannot have one gram of one carbohydrate ever for the rest of your life and everything is going to be more than okay. Um, your body is going to be able to heal. Hyperglycemia is what is responsible for causing the damages that drive the chronic disease epidemic. Uh, so we have to be really, really careful in understanding what these medicine plants are doing and, and to understand that they are, are not the therapy in and of themselves. They do help, but they are teachers that tell us what we're supposed to be doing, the way that our body works and, and uh, give us the opportunity to address the true problem. And when we understand them as, as teachers, we don't even have to engage with them whatsoever. For people who have diabetic neuropathy, they have low to no feeling inside in their feet, lots of pain. Um, you eliminate carbohydrates, uh, eliminate vegetable oils, and engage in small bouts of very acceptable exercise, you have the exact same results. And so medicine is becoming more of a teacher of where the true therapies lie than, than uh, the chemical constituents within the plant themselves. Uh, diet and nutrition is by far the biggest and most powerful lever that we can pull that gives us the opportunity to be happy and healthy. Um, and so every Sunday, 6.30 to 7.30, but usually till 9.00, <laughs> I have open up a space and a place for us to be able to engage properly with what is an ancestrally accurate, biologically appropriate, uh, species specific uh, way of eating that promotes the most amounts of healing. And that is a diet that consists almost exclusively of the meat and fat of animals. Medicine is not uh, the therapy. They are teachers that show us where the true therapy is. Uh, this is a really fun idea. And I can't wait to share with you more about uh, so many of our different types of medicine that share the same behavior or share the same function, uh, being incredible teachers for us. So 
Uh, Naha, Chumigwech. Bon ma. We'll see you guys later.